Hey there, Lucky from Xano, and today I'm going to show you how we can use Anthropic's uh, AI model Claude inside of Xano really easily. Now, if you know what Claude is, essentially it's one of the most powerful large language models that's available on the market today. It's able to do advanced reasoning, we're able to now, uh, via API, upload images and have Claude describe what those images are. It's also fantastic at code generation and translation into other languages. Something to note is Claude just released three brand new models. Haiku being its smallest, really lightweight model designed for simple tasks. Sine being its mid model, which is great for most tasks. And Opus, its new most powerful model, which is rivaling GPT-4 GPT in terms of capabilities. Uh, these are now all available through the function pack if you're built inside of Xano. Now, something to note before getting started installing this in your own uh, workspace is you will need to get an API key from Claude. Head across and note that every single function request that you make through Xano will use this API key and they're all charged. So just be cautious when testing that you'll be charged for each request that you're making. To get started, we've created the function pack which you can install directly in, into your instance. So add it to your account, select which instance you'd like to apply this to. Once you've done that, you can then select which workspace you'd like to work, so work in inside of your instance. I've got a fresh workspace I've just created here. We're able to then head across to the marketplace, to the purchased, and we can see we've now got the Claude function pack here ready to go. And we're going to install the snippet to get access to all the functions. Now that you've installed it, you can head across to your functions and you'll see that we've got two functions here ready to go. We also need to, before getting started, we need to head to our settings and update the environment variable to include the key that we just received from Anthropic a moment ago. Now we want to actually start using these functions. So I'm going to build a very simple API here to kind of show you how you can work on doing that. So test Claude. Now, because we've created these functions, it means that inside your APIs and your tasks, you're able to easily access the function. We're going to use the create chat completion Claude as it gives us all the required inputs to make the request across to Anthropic. Now, inside of the actual function you can see here, we've got a whole range of different options to basically configure the request. Now we can see all the models that we just saw on their website are now inside of the function pack. We can easily select which one we want from a dropdown. I'm going to use Sine, which is their mid model. We can define what our max tokens are, a system message, and a prompt. For this very basic example, how many planets are there in our solar system? And we save this, we run it, we should get an answer back from board pretty quickly. There we go. There are eight planets in our solar system and it's detailed all the items here. Now, I mentioned it doesn't just provide the ability to do chat completions. We can also upload images and have Claude tell us what those images are and even compare them. So you can see here inside the function pack, the images are actually expecting a file resource. So for this particular workflow, we're going to pretend that our front end is sending us some images to compare. We're going to add a file resource component for each image. So image one and image two. We're going to add these items to our function. And we're also going to update what is in these images and what are the differences between them. So we're going to now update our inputs, which we can now select the photos we want. So I'm going to actually send across Empin AI's logo in two different variants and ask it to say, what is it? And uh, also compare the difference. So I haven't tested this yet. I'm kind of interested to see what uh, the response is. There we go. We've got an answer. So it's basically describing that there's two different images with a stylized logo or icon, but it hasn't inadvertently said that it's Empin AI's logo, which I think is interesting. But um, we can see it's definitely detailed the differences between the two images. And just like that, that is how hard it is to add AI to your workflows in Xano. Now, inside the options here, we've got a whole range of different controls that you can obviously use to uh, make it an easier process. We've got a system prompt, which is you can use to give it more specific instructions about the task that it's about to do, and also what the expected response you expect to receive back from it is. So be sure to use system prompts to get more determinate answers. And we also have some other options as well to control how strict the responses are. Temperature is a great one, which you can control with a decimal point. 
you want your answers to be very strict or close to truth, you want to have a lower temperature, so something like a 0.1. But if you want it to be a little bit more creative, maybe you're going to do some creative writing, and maybe you want to up the temperature up to potentially a 1 or even up to 1.5 or 2, and it's going to get really creative with its responses, but maybe not as truthful as well. But I hope that was useful, and I hope you've got some cool ideas of how you can apply this to your apps. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it some information in the comments, and hope to get back to you soon.